My selection of uh, NRF 24L01 transceiver chips. Uh, these all work off a 2.4 gigahertz, so they're up in the, the Wi-Fi type band. These aren't Wi-Fi devices, but they are wireless, uh, wireless in the sim similar kind of way to Wi-Fi. So same frequencies, but just a different protocol. This is the um, the standard one that you would you would find on on quite a few websites, um, on Google, um, you know, eBay, various different places. It's got uh, the the little antenna is on the PCB. It's what's called a reverse F antenna. Uh, there's this is a very simple board. Uh, there's uh, connections underneath for uh, 3.3 volts connection. Uh, it's an SPI communication standard. So very very simple to interface, and you find an awful lot of information on these connecting these to Arduino devices on the internet. Uh, generally, you'd probably want at least two of these together to have a bit of chit chat. Uh, they need to have a what's called a, a pipe or an address. Um, yeah, they've got to be talking on the same channel, and uh, they've also got to have the same pipe address uh, so that what this one sends, this one can actually hear using the right receive pipe. Um, so essentially, very very simple. You can't get huge distances with these, but uh, they're a good start. They're a good bit of fun to at least start with and get get your system going. Uh, then we're going to move over to to these ones here. Now these these are a little bit different. And what these are, if I can get this into into focus, um, there we go. These ones have uh, what's called an, an SMA connector on there. Uh, this is very similar to the previous board I just showed you. So it's a SPI eight pin there connector on a two point five four. Uh, uh, pin spacing, so it's an, an 8x2 pin, pin spacing. Uh, it's got an SMA connector, so you'd need, I don't know, maybe one of these kind of, one of these kind of leads, and uh, they get connected to one of these type of aerials. Uh, what you've got to watch for is on the inside of here, I can get this into focus, there is a pin sticking up inside there some of these do some of these don't have a pin and inside the end of the SMA antenna uh, the ones obviously that you want to go with a with a pin I've got to have a hole so some of these that I've got are around the other way not that one not that one but I've got several anyway I've got quite a lot quite a number of these these antennas uh, here they're very cheap I think you can buy the antennas for about about a pound. Um, these boards are they're, 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 they're about a pound or so each, but uh, I quite like the fact that they've got a nice little SMA connector on there. When you add the uh, when you add the antenna onto these, you actually get a much better reception transmission reception distances than just the standard board on its own. Uh, when I say standard board, I mean what the ones with the reverse, reverse F. Then we can move up a little bit more to uh, to this device. Now, get this one in focus too. Uh, this device is uh, the same again. So we've got the same pinout connectors, same SPI connection, but in the very centre of the uh, the picture there, that is an extra device on the board which acts as a receiver and transmitter well it just improves it it's a, a low noise amplifier first of all and uh, for the signal coming back and that's to improve the sensitivity of the device and it's also got a separate power amplifier on there so you can transmit much further distances and receive uh, much better sensitivities now these are a little bit more expensive not hugely, but they're more expensive. Um, and once again, the same connector 
on the end there the the uh, the same connector here and the same connector on the back right so that's those I'm then going to move on to um, to these devices now these are a much newer device that are on the market um, let me see if I can get this into focus somehow there we go that's much better now these are the same device so it's the 24 NRF 24L01 plus with the power amplifier the low noise power amplifier um, on board but they also have um, on the edge they have a instead of a reverse F antenna or a SMA, SMA connector they've got a, a tiny little ceramic antenna now I, I have read that these aren't quite as good as actually having a full range antenna which I believe they're dipole antennas but these little ceramic ones are pretty good and I've yet to do some tests but apparently they can go for quite a number of hundreds of meters which is pretty good I, I think the the other board that I just showed you recently um, they're good for about a kilometer but I, I haven't actually seen that yet and you may need two to actually get the uh, to actually get a kilometer out of them but these are pretty good for their size I'm using these for a new project of mine so I've got several of those and then we go back to this is the super little tiny baby now this one if I can put this into focus come on this one is similar to the uh, to the one I first showed you yeah <laughs> it's a bit of trouble with this focus maybe it's because it's so small um, so this is similar to the one I first showed you which is which is here next to it um, Go. that's much better so the this is just a simple reverse F connector one here but like like the other board I just showed you a minute ago this has got very small connectors on the edge of here a little bit like this one here with the ceramic aerial and these are a uh, 1.27 millimeter pitch spacing pin spacing here so they're quite difficult it's eight pins uh, the making circuit boards is an absolute nightmare but I've, I've managed it but um, you can buy uh, sort of special connectors 1.27 millimeter connectors for those so it just shows you how small they are they really are tiny these things will make fantastic little 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 beacon transmitters very low power, um, small as your thumbnail look. There is one other which um, which I've got here, and this is one that um, you should really be aware of, but also at the same time uh, be wary of. Now, this one here is um, is a device called an SE8R01. Now it's very very similar to the protocol that's used by these other ones. Now these other ones are the NRF 24 LO ones, and this is the SER SE8 R01. Now, if you try and do a radio connection between two of these devices, this one and the blue one, the black one and the blue one, it won't work. Um, but there have been people that have done some tests and managed to get two blue ones talking to each other now these are so cheap these ones I think what the Chinese have done is they've basically taken a board um, made, it, made it a little bit simpler so instead of a chip it's, a, it's a, a chip on board and they blobbed over the top of it and they've just reduced any components on there removed a capacitor here and there until it still functions so this is a bare basic board um, I can't guarantee how well it would work but uh, nevertheless they are still uh, similar kind of boards once again these have got 
on the back they've got, if you look very carefully, they have the reverse F antenna on the back. There we go. A bit more of a squiggle on this one. But that's there. So the board's built in a slightly different kind of way. So that's, that's essentially it. This is my box box of bits that I've been using for quite a while. I've been collecting various different modules. Uh, I like to try them up against each other. Uh, one thing you must be very careful or very wary of when using the uh, the ones with the with the power amplifier in, which are these ones, just be very very wary that uh, if you're if you're transmitting continually on the same channel, uh, it's very very bad FCC. Well, it's against the FCC regulations to be transmitting continually on the same channel so it would probably be best to use some clever software where you would actually hop around some channels um, so you're not staying on the same channel don't know all the rules, don't know all the regulations but all I know is if you're going to use these don't sit on the same channel um, in high power output mode uh, and that's it really um, anybody that's uh, got any more information about these or any other other devices uh, please write a little bit of information below and hopefully I'll get some get back to you and do some replies. Thank you.